The most common terms we hear with options are calls and puts. So what's the difference? A call gives the option holder the right to buy an asset, while a put option gives the option holder the right to sell an asset. So if you buy a call option, you determine what the underlying asset is. In this case, we're looking at a barrel of oil and the price at which you can buy it on a given date. This is the option expiry date. Here we've bought a call option with a strike of $60. So that means you can buy it for $60. Maybe you think oil prices will be higher than this on the option expiry date and you want to protect or hedge yourself. Maybe you're exposed to rising fuel costs like an airline or a logistics company and are required to put in some form of commodity price protection. On the expiry date, if oil is higher than $60 a barrel, in this case $70, then it makes sense to exercise your option. It will give you a payoff of $10 per barrel. You would probably want this as a cash settlement. If, however, oil drops to $50, then the option will be unexercised. After all, why pay $60 if the market price is much lower? All you lose is a premium which you paid to buy the option, nothing more. And this premium is normally paid up front as a one-off single cost. So what about put options? Maybe you are an oil producer who needs protection against falling prices. You buy a put option giving you the right to sell oil at $60 a barrel. Now, on the expiry date, what will you do if oil has in fact risen to $70? Well, it doesn't make sense to exercise the option to sell at $60 if the market price is higher. So the option goes unexercised and you lose your premium, nothing more. Hopefully, oil will have risen enough to cover the cost of this premium. If oil has dropped, in this case to $50, then exercise the option and sell to the bank for 60. Again, you would probably get a net cash amount to compensate you for the price difference rather than actually selling physical barrels of oil to the bank. As an aside, the largest users of commodity derivatives are speculators, while the largest users of equity derivatives are portfolio managers, buying puts to protect the downside price risk on their holdings.